Uh, good day, welcome back. Um, been a while since I've done a video. Um, so yeah, for those 37 followers that I have, uh, and the 20 that generally watch, uh, apologies, but um, yeah, really been focusing on the training. Haven't really been taking the GoPro out, um, but feel like I need to just give you a bit of a heads up, or more for me actually, it's more of a training diary for me. Um, just where we're at so this week we clocked 160 kilometers uh, so if you do the quick maths that's 100 miles and um, we've just called in at Injinji performance products in Brendale uh, so import a lot of stuff from America things like that uh, so I've got some of Injinji's famous socks, so I've got a few pairs of them. Uh, toes and feet just starting to feel it, getting towards the end of last week or end of this week, so yeah, be good to get out in them. And a couple of pairs of sunnies. So I do my own stunts, kind of look a little bit like Brett the Hitman Hart. Uh, and just some everyday sunnies, how ironic. A ginger's soul. Uh, I'm trying out the Topo Phantom. So these are a bit of a uh, bit of an everyday runner, I guess. So there's a five mil drop in them, which is really good. Uh, much of a wider end than what I'm used to on my Asics, um, but man, these things were comfortable when I put them on. Uh, so yeah, so we'll take these out for a little run. Alrighty, uh, about a mile in in the new shoes. Feel pretty good. Um, so let's talk about 160 kilometers training in a week. Um, obviously, there's no real set training plan months in advance for for myself and my coach, Coach Marcus. Um, of the Run Forest Run family. Run Forest Run! Um, so a lot of it's based on feel. Um, there's actually no uh, kilometer or mileage expectations on any of these. He just wants time on feet. Um, we've implemented some walk breaks in there, uh, but they're coming becoming less and less structured, less and less frequent, and shorter. Um, still having them. Just be careful I don't get attacked, so if I do it's all on camera. Um, so basically it's, the intent is a three hour run in the morning with a couple of ro with walk breaks, um, and then a two hour run in the afternoon. Uh, so especially, so Thursday, so day one of my off week, or my week off from work, but my week on for running. So what we're doing is we're structuring it. Um, some fart leg, some steady state stuff while I'm at work. Some cross training, some weight while I'm at work. Just to um, give the body a, a bit of a, a decompress from, from what we've done while I've been clocking the miles. And it's like a race simulation week. Uh, so race simulation week, so Thursday started with a double run day, so in the morning, um, I think around 25 kilometers maybe, 20, 24, 25 kilometers, put the stats up on screen, uh, um, and it was three and a half minute run, a minute and a half walk, um, and generally that first one of the week in the morning, waking up at 3.30, it's tough. Uh, so that first one's just about getting miles under the belt again. Uh, and then in the afternoon, uh, much the same as last Thursday, I get home from work, make a few inquiries, follow up on some emails. Um, so I get a lot of phone calls on Thursday afternoons. Uh, so I take my phone with me and, you know, I speak to Kylie from Brave Hearts. And this week I spoke, from Sh spoke to Shannon from Trady Mutt. Uh, about some exciting stuff for what's in the pipeline for 
uh, for a sponsor drive at work um, so that's really cool uh, so I only clocked 13 kilometers um, only <laughs> so that was my shortest run of the week other than this one that I'm on at the minute um, so yeah um, and then the um, so that was Thursday uh, Friday was again a three hour run so I went in the morning so again up at 3 30 because it's all about that routine getting the body up early you know running when we don't feel like it uh, and I think again it was another 25 26 kilometers I'll put my stats up on the screen uh, so that was that was Friday morning um, and then Friday afternoon was I can't remember what I done on Friday afternoon now. Did I swim? No. Gym. Must have just went up into the gym and just done some on the on the bike. Uh, Saturday morning. Um, same again. We uh, we went out early in the morning. Uh, I think I knocked over a half or just over a half marathon, a couple of hours. Uh, and then I walked park run with Jess and the kids. So Jess and the kids met me at park run. Stats up on screen. And um, then, uh, so yeah, so I've got about 27 kilometers for then. Um, and then I think I done something on Saturday night. I can't remember what it was. I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. Anyways mine's on running at the moment um, and then uh, uh, and then Sunday did I run again on Saturday no no I didn't uh, and then on Sunday I cycled in the morning and then I swam in the afternoon uh, so a day off running, day off my feet, bit of an active recovery day, so good to get out on the bike again. Uh, and then just a cruisy thousand meter swim. Uh, which was, which was awesome, it was really good. Um, and then <clears throat> leading into Monday morning, so refresh the body, ready to hit it again for a brand new week. Uh, so Monday was my biggest day yet which was a 47 kilometer day split, split across a 29 kilometer run in the morning and an 18 kilometer run in the afternoon. Um, and yeah, it felt freaking amazing. Like, you know, that, I think that took me, those two runs on Monday took me to over my previous week off's totals. Still with two days of the week left. Uh, and then Tuesday, so back Tuesday up um i was only 18 kilometers away from 150 kilometers for the week uh, but i also had this thing in my mind 160 kilometers is 100 miles um, i knew i wasn't running on tuesday afternoon uh, so i said hey let's hit 28 kilometers takes me to 100 miles for the week get a bit of a bucket list thing or a monkey off my back or I'd have been annoyed if I was sitting at 158 or 155. Um, so that was that. And yeah, it's friggin' amazing. Like, so good. Um, uh, and again, just a bit of a cruisier afternoon, understanding like we're clocking some serious mileage up now uh, with some double run days, um, things like that. So just gotta be careful not to overdo it and the body's feeling really good um yeah but i don't want to go and have a massive week this week and then it messed me up for the next few weeks uh so yeah so 28 kilometers and that tuesday morning run it's probably the hardest one that i've done for a while mentally um legs were tired no aches or pains really like i feel really really good towards the end my legs started feeling tired um, and yeah mentally obviously getting up at 3 30 in the morning every week uh, every day you know um, 
backing up with afternoon runs with little sleeps here you know but that's all part and parcel of it so um and that's what it'll be like come race week as well like it's not going to be 10 hours in bed things like that so so there you have it so there's 160 kilometers um yeah never never would have thought that i would have hit those kind of distances uh when i started getting coached by marcus four weeks ago um and food's been through the roof like uh so hats off to sammy so sammy stands from ideal nutrition who i had a check in with her again this morning uh yeah like i feel my nutrition's amazing she is actually potentially looking at maybe ramping things up more for me she didn't realize i'd be quite sitting at this workload <laughs> just yet um so yeah um yeah keep up the the good work keep up the running nutrition four weeks alcohol and caffeine free do miss coffee and have a look at this steak I did miss a glass of red wine with this steak <laughs> uh but everything's good uh training wise everything's nailed on super stoked uh, a couple of little um recovery boosters to come uh so if you follow me on instagram you'll see those but yeah happy very happy Currently quarter to four.